This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello and welcome to Central Oregon Living and Homestead. I'm Ranger Rob, and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about our compost bin that we're building. So I was on the internet, and if you type in uh, building compost bins, uh, there's a guy who came up with a really good design. Uh, it had three bins in it. Both, all the walls were four by four pretty much. And to build it would have taken 31 one by six by eights. Which is like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. So uh, Sherry and I decided to uh, go to Home Depot and no one by six by eights could be found. And we found some oddball things and uh, some treated stuff, but uh, uh, boy, it was almost like five dollars a board. Now, I, I do, I mean, I can afford whatever I need to afford most of the time, but uh, I draw the line when it's, you know, what, that turned out to be uh, $155 for just those boards, and it's like, that's ridiculous. This is a compost bin, for goodness sakes. And really, what you're building is uh, a form of a uh, <laughs> cut. Really, what you're building is a uh, form of a pallet and then putting chicken wire on it. So it's like, the heck with this. Let's drive around to Home Depot and Lowe's and find out if we can buy pallets. Or just get pallets and yes we were successful so if you want to get good pallets at Home Depot or Lowe's it was $15 a pallet and then there's lower class ones you might say that were free so I wanted to have two two at least two good compost post bins and uh, so I got I bought five $75 plus I bought uh, four foot wide one inch chicken wire which is right here and uh, these are the pallets and so the rest of them over here I got two free ones to see if I could work with them I think I can and so I guess what I want to show you is we're gonna build these compost bins affordably and if you really had to get free uh, pallets but uh uh, I just wanted a little higher grade pallet and so I was just kind of laying these out a little bit kind of figure out how I was going to do it uh, I haven't decided totally other I'm going to put chicken wire on the one side of each one uh, how I want to attach them I haven't decided I'm still going to use the one by six by uh, fours to, uh, and make a, uh, a stackable doors uh, on the front of all these so I will end up probably buying some wood, but I'm going to try to use plywood that I have left over from the chicken pen. So uh, stay tuned as I uh, uh, and Sherry and I figure out how we're going to do this. Um, but yeah, boy, when you're watching things on YouTube and they say, oh, just use this lumber, that lumber, uh, times are changing. Uh, uh, wood's getting hard to find. Cans are, sh uh, cans are getting short. Uh, meat shortages are coming things are changing folks and it's kind of talked about that before but this is another example of uh, trying to be clever try to use reuse wood things like that and uh, anyway let's get to work on these things well it's been a little bit of time here and Sherry and I were working on the pallet and so I'll uh, kind of show you what we're doing putting the pallets up on the saw horses and then putting our uh, chicken wire on here. Well, during the middle of that, a big <laughs> thunderstorm rain came through. We did get one completed over here, um, right here, but this project's going to go really fast. So, while we're out here, it started raining, it started thundering, big gust of wind came along, and swung this door open, and now it's <laughs> you can kind of see it. It's broken. 
I imagine over time some water has gotten in here anyway the whole door shot another thing to fix <laughs> so there's a video coming well, I just by the time you see this video it will be out and I was talking about realistic homesteading and I re recommended being on grid and then do the what if scenario of how to get if you lost your utilities how would you survive so I also mentioned that if you really if you really want to be off grid you'll be able to be a person of many talents uh, we're just on grid kind of fixing up a place and you can see every day there's always something to either build or fix or change and uh, that's okay um, it's kind of fun and have I ever changed the door out well, I've taken them off their hinges before and stuff but now I gotta figure out where to get a door and uh, I'm sure I won't like the price just like I didn't like the price of the, <laughs> the wood but this is turning out real good so I'll have maybe a hundred dollars invested in this project you could have done it cheaper if you got just free pallets but I wanted kind of a lot better pallets um, and the chicken wire was 25 bucks for 25 feet of four foot so uh, I'll have to come up with some fasteners I got scrap wood for the rest of it uh, so not a big investment <laughs> unlike my five thousand dollar chicken pit so I thought I'd kind of show you the concept um, we're not going to show you every aspect of building it uh, we are we had to stop like I said working on this because the rain it just stopped um, but uh, after this I'll show you what it looks like after it's built probably in the next video so uh, yeah we we're gonna go to a church outdoor church thing today at six o'clock and I'm not sure they're still gonna do it which is sad so anyway and uh, we also found it was a good opportunity with this big rain dump to see how the chicken coop did we did great except we got a little water in the nesting boxes which I don't want and it's only because the lift up boxes where the hinges are the sideways rain got through there we imagine that would have been a problem and uh, so we are going to address that good to find out now we have no chickens using the nest nesting boxes right now so no uh, harm done but good education the rest of the chicken house was gorgeous and do you think the little baby chickens would get out of the rain no <laughs> So anyway, I think I'll leave it at this right now for this video. And the next video, hopefully, we'll be able to show you how far along we got with the compost bins. And they're going to go way out by the chicken house. And so uh, we're kind of going to use <coughs> probably like rebarb into the ground and using uh, plumber's tape to hold it on. And then put caps at the top to stabilize it. And then uh, we have to kind of devise with two by fours on the edges uh, I'll show you right here um, like if this was the outside I'm gonna put two by four oh, I may just leave this put two one by ones in here so I can slide boards into it so we can make a build-up door in the front and I'm gonna use scrap wood for that too so anyway stay tuned guys thanks for watching please join our family subscribe Leave a comment, say hello, tell us what you're up to, what you're thinking. Um, and uh, if you have any questions for us, we'd love to uh, chat with you. So anyway, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.